Hi, this is Tiffany Godfrey of CommittedWife.com. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I want to talk to you about scandal once again. I mean, I could run the scandal thing for days, months, and weeks. And I'm going to look at scandal, the word scandal, the act of a scandal, in so many different aspects because I think that really rings a bell in so many people's ears. Scandal, we talked about it. We've been talking about it over weeks. We've been talking about it on my teleseminar. We've been talking about it on uh, Facebook, Twitter, all of those things. We're really excited because I believe that when you deal with the scandals in your life, you can have a much better life than the life that God promises that he wants you to have. He said that I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So let's look at scandal. We talked about a scandal being a dark place that you really don't want to revisit, talk about, or deal with because it brings back so much pain, so much hurt. But the thing is, when you don't deal with your scandals, it can really affect you, your heart, your relationships, your marriage, and it can cause a downward spiral that won't stop. So my goal is to help you to learn how to deal with your scandals. But today, I kind of want to look at scandal from a different point of view. I think that when you think of the word scandal, we often think about sex, adultery, uh, the adventure of it all. And I know with the hit show scandal, that's kind of what probably comes to mind. Whether you're a fan or not, you probably have heard a lot about the show scandal. Well, I do want to talk a little bit about that. You know, sometimes a scandal can hit your marriage in the present. Uh, sometimes adultery can hit, whether it's emotional or physical. And I want to talk to you, my sister, because sometimes, believe it or not, we can drive our husbands into the arms of another woman. Now, let me qualify that. I have talked to some women who have undergone the pain of adultery, and they really admitted to me that there were some things that they could have done better that could have possibly kept their husbands home and kept them from straying into the arms of another woman. But what I will tell you is there are some men that are going to cheat regardless. So I don't want to um, belittle that fact because there, that is the case. Just like there are some women who are going to cheat, bottom line. But what I want to do is help and encourage you to see some ways that you can avoid pushing your husband away so that he will come with open arms ready to give you the love that you so desperately need and deserve. We're going to talk about some resources this week. We're going to talk about some acts that you can do in order to maintain that loving and respectful marriage relationship. So please stay tuned. For more information, visit CommittedWife.com. We've got a lot of free resources up there. We've got a lot of things coming up. And again, stay tuned for our teleseminar um, on scandal, how to prevent scandals, true confessions of a committed wife, how a past scandal almost ruined my marriage. We're going to have an audio recording available for you very soon. Uh, God bless you and have a great day.